If you want to back up your email list in MailChimp, which is very important in case you ever lose your account, you can go here to audience and all contacts. I have a little test account here, which has just my email addresses in it. I'm gonna to go to export audience. If I scroll down, I already have two exports here that I've created because I've simply just clicked the button and now it exists there. I can export as a CSV to download and keep on my computer. I then save that as a zip file that I can then extract. You now notice that my zip file is saved. I'm using WinRAR. I need to just extract that if I want to restore it. And I get this CSV file, which I'll quickly open. You can see here, it's got the details of the email list, only a few names, uh, but perfect for the sake of sort of showcasing how this works. But what if we want to restore that list? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to click all of these and unsubscribe and archive. And now I have an empty list. So if I want to import my audience, all I need to do is go up to the top here to add contacts and import contacts. You see there's a few options here. You can import from another service, uh, copy and paste new contacts in, but I'm gonna go to upload a file because if you have tens or hundreds or thousands of contacts, this will be the quickest way. Continue. I can grab my file here by clicking browse. I choose my CSV file that I just downloaded or an, another that I have since updated and click open and I hit continue to organize. Now I can select the audience I wanna add it to. So I've got portfolio, the status, I'm gonna say subscribed. And if there's already some contacts in there, I can update contacts with information on there. Otherwise, if I turn this off, it will not replace any of the information and keep that contact as it was. But I'm gonna go continue here to tag. I'm gonna turn that on, continue to tag search for, I can actually choose a tag if I have any tags existing within my list. Um, I'm gonna say, let's choose staff since it's all me. I'm gonna click continue to match. I can see the details here and even go through and see other information. I can choose what to keep, what not to keep. I hit finalize import. It'll sort of summarize that process. I hit complete import and the import was successful. I go to view contacts and you can see my contacts there, ready to go. So. That's essentially how you can back up your email list with MailChimp and import it. And you can also upload uh, spreadsheets from other platforms. It might require a little bit more organizing, but uh, that's essentially how you can keep it all backed up. Now, one thing you notice here is it says here, these are all unsubscribed. I'm going to tick all these and click actions, resubscribe. You better resubscribe, I hit confirm. Because some of these were already existing, I've resubscribed them. They're my emails anyway, so uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And uh, if you want more quick and easy tutorials on MailChimp, check out my channel for more. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.